What do you think, Laurie? Should we do a hat to oh <laughs> should we do a hat today? So welcome back. I um thought I'd start off with a really simple first project because after picking up this this simple boater, I really, really wanted to do something with it. And it was something that I didn't need too much of a setup to do, so I um, just thought I'd have a bit of a chat with you while I try and get this decorated. Now, so I've got all of these bits and pieces. I've got this lovely velvet ribbon, lovely green grow grain. What do you reckon, Lori? I have a lorry. Um, a few different flowers. So I've got black flower and I've got these little white roses as well that I could um, pluck off of these stems and, and use. Some lovely feathers. And then, I wasn't sure about doing lace, but I've got this lovely lace insertion, which I wouldn't do pink. But I've got a, a lovely green ribbon here I could use in something like that. Or just a plain lace, which could even look quite nice, you know, if it were to do something like that, maybe. So, Laurie, which shall we start with? Do you have an opinion? Hey, I think we should start with. I've almost got enough here that I could make a nice little bow on the back. What do you think, Larry? That's the back, isn't it? Maybe if I put a pin in it. Then we can have a bit of a think how that looks. I can always sew it on later if I don't want to leave a pin in there. a um, plain straw boat I might go with the green yeah I know you like it but I'm half thinking I'm gonna head with the other one let's try the black velvet I think that could actually look quite classy with it that's right you eat the flowers go on so I think I just got about a meter of this of this black one so um So taken with those long tails. So what I could do with this bit, I don't have enough to actually tie a bow, but I can fake it. I just made two little loops like that. I've already actually trimmed the edges of this to a nice slant, so I wouldn't have to necessarily trim it. But I could then just hold that in place with this sort of a fake bow effect. Just add another pin for the moment to hold that in place. Kind of like that. And again, I'm not thinking that it will just stay there like that because I've got all these lovely flowers. 
So if I were to put a flower in here, that'll hide what's going on with this fake bow. So then the question is, what do I use? I must admit I do always wear quite a bit of red, so something like a, a red rose would actually work really nicely with everything I've got. But this rose isn't quite full enough to do it, so if I were going to do that, I would probably even want to get some of these happening. And you know what, when I'm looking at this with some of these little spriggy ones out, and a few little red berries, I'm suddenly getting a very Mary Poppins vibe, which actually is kind of my vibe, but not necessarily what I'm going for with this one. Rather than just pull the roses off of these already, because I may not do this. I'll let go. So, okay, if I were, I'm not so sure. I know this is all going to be a bit black on black, but um, this flower actually already has a little pin on it. So if I were to do that, see that covers the join really nicely. You can still kind of make out that there's a bit of a bow under it. Actually, I don't mind that. So if I were to pin that in place, I actually quite like that. Let's just hold it for the moment. The only thing is, I'm wondering, and I'll put this all on the back. Sorry. Oh, now. Kind of more towards the front-ish. Slightly offset. So I think what I'll do is... Let's see if I can slide this around rather than that, rather than having to repin it. That's kind of cool. Now I think... I was going to have it on that side so let's just pop that back in place now that does tell me that I have to make sure to pin this ribbon to the hat so that it doesn't actually fall off for all it's fairly tight it's not going to be tight enough to keep the ribbon in place all the time so what I might do is I'll take that pin out of this bow part and I will see if I can use this to pin all of it together against the hat. I can go right the way through and back again. Is the pin big enough? There we go. It's got a little catch so that won't come undone. actually already looking quite cute. Not bad. However, I must admit I did buy these feathers thinking that I might use them on this hat. They're absolutely gorgeous. So maybe, maybe if I want to ever tizzy up, get a bit more formal, you know, it's the Melbourne Cup, something like that and you want to be a little bit more classy, a little bit more different, why not just tuck the feathers into the band like this, even pin it in it if I'm a bit worried about it, and take it off. What do we reckon? I have think a new hat. It is very black on black. I do have some more flowers on their way. I'm hoping that one of the ones I've picked up online, because they're only like two dollars from Spotlight, um, and so I've got an ivory one and maybe a caramel coloured one coming as well. So if I want to add a bit of colour to this, 
I could even just change the colour of this flower whenever I get the mood. But I think, just for now, I have myself a lovely black hat. And now that I've done that, I think I'm going to need a lovely, probably Vic, like Victorian inspired skirt to wear with my not very but slightly Victorian boater hat. So how have you gone? Have you done a hat like this before? Let me know down in the comments if if you've had experience with um, trying to trim off a few hats and what hints and tips you've picked up along the way. Otherwise, thank you for joining me again and I will see you really, really soon. Enjoy your song. Say hello to the camera. And this is what it's like living with a lorikeet. Hey, Laurie.